Hello, oh, good afternoon and welcome to New Forest Morphs. Uh, today we've got clutch number four that's uh, arrived. I was just cleaning out the snakes this morning and uh, she was on a clutch of eggs. It's Toast, our beautiful cinnamon girl that's given us two healthy clutches already over the last two years. And she's given us a third. I believe there is a slug amongst them, so it's our first slug of the season, which is a bit unfortunate, but um, hopefully there won't be uh, too many slugs in the clutch. So we'll have a look at her. But before we do, let's have a look at the boy. So clutch number four for 2023, as you can see, is uh, Apollo, who is a pastel banana orange dream boy. And the girl is Toast, who's a cinnamon. And that's the clutch card. And we'll write down the number of eggs once we have a look at her. But before we do so, let's just have a quick look at Daddy. And here's Apollo. So Apollo is in here. Let's have a new look at him. So you may want to come over to the top. He's a lovely boy. He's one of my favourite snakes. I've had him for about three years. And he's absolutely beautiful. He's got lovely temperament. Orange Dream, Pastel, Banana. It's got a few spots that are starting to come now, but on the whole, pretty pretty good. Right, let's leave him to, to rest, and then let's um, have a look at the girl. So say, I think she's um, given us one slug in the clutch, but we'll have a look, and I believe there's also a rollout as well. So we've got uh, a rollout and a slug in there. So let's have a look at her, we'll bring her out and then we'll lift the clutch. I've got the egg box all prepared. Here she is, she's wrapped around them. And I think she's finished laying because the tail is on the outside. There we go. So, we've got the one roll out egg. And there she is, she's wrapped around her eggs. So, I don't know if you can See her, Mandy. She's a beautiful girl. Right, let's have a little look and see what we've got here. There we go, Toast. Just bear with me a second. Two slugs, three slugs. So, and she looks like she's empty. Let's check in there to make sure there's no further eggs in there. We'll just slip her back in there. So we've got one, two, three, four, five eggs and three slugs. And um, let me just slip her back in there. Well done, Toast. And I think one of the reasons why we've got the slugs is I believe that we were rebuilding her and I don't think she had enough uh, reserve in her to sustain a full clutch. She normally gives us eight or nine eggs. So I think the reason why we've got these three is due to the fact that I don't think she was big enough to sustain eight eggs. So it might well have been wiser for us to perhaps give her a year off and let her rebuild for the following year. So that's something we've learned. Um, so let's put these into the incubator and then we will uh, candle them as well. Actually, we should candle them first. So, Mandy, um, let me just switch the light off and we'll come back and candle those. Right, so let's just check the rollout, see if there's anything in, in there. Yeah, if I go on there, can you see any veins at all, man? Can you see some veins? And what I might do is actually just go underneath it and see whether that might help. But it's quite light in here, so it's difficult to see what's going on. I can see some veins on that side. I think she's got veins. Right, let's have a little look and see if these other ones have got any veins. Veins in that one. Veins in that one. Veins in that one. And veins in that one. And obviously there's no veins in the slugs. 
So I'll get the egg box out. It looks like we've got at least four good eggs. And the other one I think has faint veins, so that might be the reason why it's a rollout. Maybe it's not as fertile as the others. I don't know whether you can see any veins in there, man. I think there are some veins in there. Yeah, there are some veins. So, right, we'll um, get that on heat now. And uh, just have to switch the light back on. Five good eggs and three slugs. Three slugs and eight in total. Due date is the 28th of July, 23. Let's just uh, this out. So I prepared a, an Xbox egg box earlier, as you can see, and it's all good to go. And we'll just uh, wipe that water off the top and see if there's good humidity because we've got water on the top of the lid. Just get that dried off so no water spills on the eggs. And these ones should be a lot easier to set up because uh, they're all laying flat, so that's all good. Right, so we'll put the four eggs. Um, let's have a look at these four eggs. Just take any paper off that might be under there. Try to remove the paper. Paper's coming off nicely. So we're hoping for Banana pastel OD um, cinnamons, and what we'll do is we'll put the. Uh, I'm trying to think the best thing to do here might be just to put that separate egg to the side there, and if it does go bad, then we can remove that quite easily. What I need to do is just get a straw to prop that up. So I'm just going to get a little straw. It looks like to be a bit of paper on that one. Can you see the paper on that one, man? That, it should be okay, but we'll just um, slip that there. And then I've got a straw just to support it. Put a straw in there, and maybe one on that side just to give it that extra support. And there we go. So five eggs, that takes us to 27 for the season so far. And uh, yep, due on the 27th of July. So. Thank you Mandy very much for doing the filming today okay. and I hope everyone else is having a good season and we'll see you again. So it's goodbye from Mandy and goodbye from Paul at New Forest Morse. Goodbye for now. <laughs>